All right, time for some echo. Now, first of all, with echo, I will want to say that there are two viable build options that you have to go for depending on the enemy team. You have the Conqueror setup and you have a Dark Harvest setup. Into this team specifically, I have Orn, Olaf, and Braum, which are extremely tanky. Akali is able to stall out fights very easily with her W, so it's way better for me to be more sustain heavy slash be in fights longer in this specific game than it is to have Dark Harvest. And in those games, you go Conqueror. If you can just one shot the enemy team or fights are going to be short and everything like that, then you want to go for the Dark Harvest instead. Uh, I'll put b both rune pages up on the screen. And yeah. So we're backing at 50 seconds to place a ward here, because if Olaf invades, he's just always going to go for my buff camp. The most consistent thing with Echo is to just full clear, no matter what, simply because you will take a risk or a dice roll at least on this champion. If you gank early and the gank fails, you will probably not be able to come back from that at all. So really, that's something you have to keep in mind. If you full clear, it's always going to be the most consistent way of doing it, but yeah. So with a setup like this, you want to go for burn damage and sustainable damage. So items like Nash's Tooth and Leanderis will do the most here. Um, in the other setup, you're just going to go Rocket Belt into straight burst. So Rocket Belt, Lich Bane, stuff like that. All right, we're going for a lit invade. Interesting. That's a very unfortunate. That one's going to hurt. Interesting stuff. That doesn't matter right now. Either way, we're going to just kind of move to the blue and we'll play from here. We'll see what happens. I don't mind playing from behind, at, like, I'm playing against diamond threes on average-ish, so I don't really mind playing from behind, as long as he doesn't get to my blue here, and Victor's gonna probably leash him towards me at the moment, which would suck, I think I'm dead here. If he moves hit to my blue, that's the best play he could make, and uh, that, yeah, that's gonna cost me the game. Okay, never mind, he messed up. I still have a chance. Okay, well, I'll just throw my W ahead of me, so he walks into it and gets stunned. And this is all I'm going to be able to do. Hopefully Seth doesn't die for this. That would be ideal. Don't die for this, please. Braum's still here for some reason. Yeah, this is not a good idea, my dude. Not sure why you tried... Mm, okay, well. I guess this is a game. I don't know why he tried to kept, keep fighting that. That was a really big misplay on his part. He should never have done this. I'm backing. Alright, so playing from extremely far behind at this point, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Alright, so if you're in a situation like this where you get late invaded, all you can do is just try to get whatever you can. On Echo specifically, this really sucks because your early game really isn't that good. And I will have to try to get whatever I can here. Olaf has a very strong early game, so if he plays this out properly, I probably wouldn't be able to come back into this game. But then again, this is Diamond 3 ELO, so I'm not expecting him to play this perfectly, and I think I'll be able to sneak past him, some stuff past him. Thank you. Exactly what I needed, that's what the assist ping was for. I'm just gonna smite this. I need to make sure that I get it. I'm not sure if this is enough XP for, le for level 3. No, it's not. Hmm... I can't, like, I literally cannot help him. I'm level fucking two, mate. That's, dude. Level two. I understand what he's saying, but it just simply doesn't do anything here. I got a back ping there. Olaf probably took my entire top side here. Ideally, I'd see this to be up, but if it's not, that's okay. My best play right now is to just go gank Orn. Even though I'm level 2, if I can get a stun off, I'll be okay. I need to get level 3, and this is one of the most, like, best ways for me to do it right now. So I'm just gonna use my W here. He just gets killed. That's very, very annoying. He went in too early and tried to fight. He's level 5. I have a big, big problem here. I probably will not be able to fight me that easily, at least. I can soak some experience here at least. That's what I'm going for right now. That's all I can do. Set went in too early. He needed to wait for my stun, so that failed as well. Let's see how I can bring this game back. I'm not too sure yet. Definitely not going to be easy, but at least this gives me some XP. 
My Grump now just respawns so I can get XP from this. It's just going to be a game like playing from behind. If I can get one or two good ganks off, that'd be great. But they got a really, really good start on me there. So this really sucks. I may be able to gank top lane here in a second still. Or just TP back. I'm going to smite this. The plant should be up so I can take the plant over the wall. And I think Olaf is to bot side somewhere. So this should be possible. See if it's warded. It's not. Let's see if this is a possibility. Right, he's going to get stunned here. This should be his death. I de Wait, he still has flesh after... Uh, okay, well, never mind. He lives through it. He's actually going to kind of int. Damn. Seth still has flesh as well. I don't know when. This this really hurts me. Not sure what to do with right, right about this right now. It's just going to have to be played out slowly. I have no choice but to go for the Leandries here either because they are just full tanks. Olaf is going to get bot scuttle. He's level 5. I'm level 4. Uh, ideally, if I can get blue and red buff on this same rotation, which probably shouldn't happen in my case, since Olaf just has complete control. Uh, I can come back into this with that, but that's probably my only chance right now, unless they make a mistake. That's what I'm guessing. Kind of need my bot lane here. I don't know if this is going to be any anything possible, but... I guess I'm gonna have to find out. They just did dragon. Okay. I got the small ones because they're worth a lot more XP these days. Let's see if Olaf comes to mess me up. He does. My Thresh left me as well, which really sucks because he should never have done that. I got him. Oh my god, it's so annoying that my Victor and my my AD carry just ignored that completely. That really, really sucks. That, that was actually a good like situation because I got my got my proc on that. If my team wins this fight, I'll take it. But I'm extremely sad that my Victor and my Samira were so late. There was no reason for that. Because they saw the Olaf and they just didn't move. The Brom actually got there faster, which is really, really unfortunate. But yeah, okay. Well, I got the kill on Olaf, which is good. I think my red is still up, which is also good. So I actually do have a decent shot now. Just got to play this out as much as I can here. This is the, probably the worst situation you could be in on e as Echo, specifically. Because your champion just isn't that good early game at the first in the first place, sorry. And now with this on top of everything, it's actually going to really hurt. Curious to see if I can turn this around though, because Olaf definitely will, like, I will outscale him completely. There is no way he should be allowed to do this, like, actually no way. He's level 6 though, he might be allowed to do this, actually. Let's see what choice I have. If Seth comes to help me here, if Victor does as well, we might win. Let's see. Don't mess this up. He just ulted. I just used his ult. My team will win this. Like, they have to win this at this point, right? There's no way. I'm just gonna use that. And take the kill. That's perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well played. I'm gonna save my team well played right there. That's that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed to get back into this game. I needed the help from my team. I just hit 6. I can get top scuttle right now. And then from there on out, I'm going to clear blue and gromp. And I should be in a good position to bring this game back somehow. Uh, yes. I'll do scuttle and get help and push top lane out. Hopefully I can get this real quick. Don't... Let me just help this guy out. He did a good roam and I need to help him out as well. No, this kind of sucks still. Wait, he should be on Rift Herald, right? Is Bra moving all the way up here, though? He is. Very interesting stuff. What a game. He's doing Rift Herald, so ideally I'd still be able to get my blue in time. That's what I'm going for right now. We'll see if that happens or not. Rough game. Very rough game, we'll have to say.
Is that dive thorpe in here? We should be a fine. I don't think they will be able to dive us that easily. This really sucks though. I was forced to ult early and that kills me right now. Uh, Set went in too early on that with his E. He should have let that happen. If he let, like, I also didn't expect the Olaf to have his ult back, to be fair, but that, mm, that was really bad. I wanted to, like, stun him there, but he in kind of engaged the fight, pulling the Olaf a little bit closer to me, which really hurt. Because at that point, I couldn't do anything anymore, simply because he already closed the, the, sm the slight gap that I had on him, because my set pulled him in with his E. So... Yeah, that, that just hurts a lot for me right there. I could have kited that out and I would have been like fine. He just may be able to stun him. And didn't even get that stun off. Set misplayed again. He just needs to chill. Like he honestly needs to chill. This is the second time he went in too early and just... Yeah. Kind of messed up a play pretty hard there. I don't know. It's a really hard game. It's gonna be a pretty much, I think, an impossible game to win at this point, but we'll see. I can get wolves. He took my Gromp, obviously. I think the Orn might be correct here in assuming he's autofilled. Yeah, okay. That explains a lot. It, yeah, that, that explains everything, actually. That's unfortunate. Because there were a lot of situations where he could have played that so much better to win us the fight. Or to win us the situation, but... Yeah, okay. Autofill it is. Happens. Alright, I'm just gonna have to play this out as slowly as possible. They're gonna go for the Drake here. We might be able to get Orn. Maybe. This is a very big ask, though. What did he craft? Dude, the Drake's gone. I'm not even trying there. You used your CC again too early. That really sucks. That really sucks. I didn't ult in time. Are you kidding me? Ah, this hurts, man. I was forced to wait. I needed to hit them with the ult damage. I, c I couldn't use it too early. Uh, I don't know. Going for that play in the first place is very risky already because this, like, I had to trust the set to play that out perfectly, which was probably not going to happen, which, I mean, didn't happen because he used his E whilst the Orn was preventing the CC from happening there. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe this is actually could be a good play here. Um, let's see if I can do something here, maybe. If you can pick up a kill. I need some items at this point. My CS is extremely low. Olaf is living in my jungle like he should with the lead he got. So I don't know how I'm going to exactly play this out, but... This is, yeah, really bad start into very unfortunate situations with my team. All the plays around top lane could have been better. And then also on the evade here... If my Victor and my Samira would have roamed a little bit earlier, I would have been a much better spot. And that would have actually been, like, yeah, it would have just been much better. So that, yeah, sucks. All right, looking at the gold. Killing Orn is going to be impossible right now for a while. There is no way I can kill that guy because I also, like, maybe with the bot lane to, uh, together, actually. But with this set, it's just not possible. I was forced to play for top lane. I had no choice. With the way this game went, I had no choice. I had to bank on this going well. Okay. I couldn't ult. I got CC'd by Brom. 
Maybe Samira wins this. Very much maybe. All right, you got a kill. That guy may die. Didn't die one HP. Very, very rough. I have Leandris now, at least. I have no idea if I can bring this back at all. Like, literally no clue. Very hard game. That sucks. He lives here. That's a good control ward. If you can maybe engage something. That's a very good kill from Thresh right there. Can I get to him? Nope. Do we dive him here? I think we might have to. That should be a good bait. Yeah, there we go. I was completely focused on that because I knew that the Thresh and the Victor would be able to do something to kill her there. She was worth shutdown gold, so that was worth it no matter if I died or not. Just plays like that that you're gonna have to go for. I think I'm gonna get killed by Olaf here. I need my Samira. I can't juke this guy. I just need my team to kill this guy right now. He's worth shutdown gold again. Okay. I was pr like dashing this way to prevent his flash. I have to play this as defensive as I can whilst getting whatever I can really. He's worth 400 gold. We kind of need it. We need to fix the bounties on this one. I need to get mercs against that team as well. Should be my next item here. We have to give Drake again, unfortunately. If we can kill the Orn here, that'd be good. Are oh, you just... Okay, he just took Scuttle. I should have smited it, I guess. That's fine. I should have realized that scuttle a little faster. That's my bad. Drake's gone again. We're in a really bad position right now. Our set is 0-6. Alright, got Mercs here. I got the dagger. I'm gonna have to build for some for, for net for more damage here, more sustain. I'm gonna with this. Master's Tooth's gonna help me out quite a bit with that. Also with like getting through like Olaf and stuff. It's just a... Uh, I'm very far behind really. That's all it is. I just need you to help me. That'd be great. Like they're actually in a, in a bad position right now. They should have been at least. He slowed. We honestly should have engaged that. The Victor played that way too scared. Like that Braum was out of position for sure. He should have died for that for sure. Okay, well. I'm really thinking what I can do here to uh, potentially bring this back. I think we outskill them though. Likely. He went for a chem tank. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think late game we might just have this straight up. Can we hold on to a game though? The best thing I currently like I can do currently is just farm whatever I can. Farm whatever camps are up and try to fight. Yeah, I gotta give this to Samira, yeah. Just hope that my Leandris burn doesn't accidentally get it. I'm almost 11, which is going to be a pretty good spike. I think two camps should cover that, hopefully. I can't get top scuttle, I don't think. If they can kill Akali here, that'd be good, but they'll have Baron. They'll go for Baron. If they go for a bot lane like this, they go for Baron. I actually actually already think they're on Baron. 
I don't have the, the right trinket for this. Alright, oh, they're not on Baron. That's really good. That's actually super good for us. I can't go for Top Scuttle here, unfortunately, because of this fight. I'm gonna have to go there. I'm gonna cut this off right now. Alright, I think I win this. Yep. That's a really good flank for me right there. Just have to pull this out the back now. Should be possible. Alright, never mind. That's uh, Samira that kind of just made a mistake there. I am a very scary build for this Orn to deal with, so I can kill this guy. Perfect. That's amazing. That's that's actually amazing. We needed that so badly. That's a good flank for me on that situation right there. I actually go mid lane, yeah. I should get mid third or try to get mid third. Can I get this? I should be able to. They have no TP. Can I get it? Mm, probably not. Okay. I have Nastrus in 200 gold. That's good. I'm very focused this game right now. I need to, like, I need to pull this out. I just feel like I have to. Hard game. I right, get blue here. We need Baron Vision. I need to swap my trinket to a uh, blue one here. Just for these Baron situations. So we don't have to face check. Alright. Getting Nash's Tooth will be a very good damage upgrade for me right now. After that I probably go with... Void Staff, I think. Maybe Demonic's Embrace, actually. For more tankiness. I got Nashers, got two of these, and got a Farsight. We kind of have to get Dragon, probably. I have everything up right now. I will have my Smite, but I'm gonna have to keep that for Drake no matter what. If we can kill Akali before anything happens, that'd be amazing. I don't know how I feel about him taking my camp here, though. Alright, let's walk this way. Sets top lane with TP, but I don't like him being top lane because he went camp tank and he needs to make the engage with a setup like that. This is not good. Wait, did she, did she just throw, throw with that engage? Surely this shouldn't be terrible for us. Alright, hit, keep hitting the wards. I'm very focused. I, I'm not sure if I can keep the commentary for this fight. Right, peeling back as much as possible right now. Waiting for opportunities. Using my... W on top of Akali. That's a very good set ultimate. Okay, an ult here. Go for this guy. Use my stun here. Keep proking as much as possible. Nash is doing the work. Okay, triple kill on this one. Start Drake. Jesus Christ. Okay. What I've tried to do in that fight as much as possible is use my, uh, I guess, sustainability to my advantage. So try to keep proking my Qs on people to get passive hits before I go in. And use my W shield on Akali's Shroud to make sure that I can get an engage with that. And stun her in her Shroud to force her out of her Shroud. And that's really how I was forced to play that one. It turned out, and then at the end there, I could have tur I easily turned, uh, was able to turn on the Lucian and quickly kill him. Because this build still has a bunch of damage built into it, so... Can't use Smite. Keep in mind, can, cannot use Smite. I used Farsight and my two control wards here to keep the vision for us on Dragon and everything, so they couldn't sneak it either. Which is what I'm going for, and now here, I think I'm forced to go Demonic's Embrace. I can just go tanky sustain type of mage with a lot of burn damage into their team, because they have a bunch of tanks. So, going for Demonic's here probably wouldn't be terrible. 
I can get both of these, which is good. I'll sell the potion for two more control wards for the same situation. So let's do this. Alright, I'm worth 600 gold right now. I'm still going to have to play it very safe throughout these fights. As much as possible here. So my build now is going to be Demonix into Void Staff to get my burn damage through. And then maybe he's more sustainable. Like, I can go a tank item potentially, but I'm thinking Death Cap probably. I'm just waiting here to back them up. Alright, jump this. Get the, br get the Braum there. I was just waiting for an opportunity to run in with the... Uh, Alright, I got him as well. Perfect. Ult out instantly to get back to a good position. Alright. Still extremely focused on this one. We're gonna get the Orn here. And the Olaf as well. He has no ult. Perfect. We go Baron here for sure. This is the best call. I have Leandris. I do a lot of Baron damage with that. Alright. I ideally don't want to tank this. I want Seth to tank this for the damage debuff. So I don't get Leand... I can get my Leandris burned through. Okay, good. I can get my Demonix Embrace on the next one. As you saw with my damage output, by the way, even though I went this specific build, I still just destroyed Lucian completely. This build's very, very strong to destroy tanks with. I need to get blue here. We have Drake in two minutes. Alright, I'll get Gromp as well then, since I'm waiting for blue anyway. Alright, get blue. I have to think about this for a second. What item I'm gonna get after Demonix? Because I definitely get Demonix here, right? I can go Lich Bane. I think a blasting one's just safe. Yeah, blasting one should just be safe. Because I can still opt to go for Lich Bane or Void Staff, and those are really the options I was looking at. Right, or Olaf is actually just going to straight up die here. Very interesting. Okay. Just got to play this out. Victor has TP, so he could easily go bot lane to cover for Lucian. Just looking to push the wave with my mid lane right now. This is good. Use my Shroud. Get a stun on that one. Just gonna kill this guy first. I can easily go super aggressive. Oh, I should have never done that. That was a big misplay on my part. That was a misplay on my part. I sh uh, th the guy definitely went too deep, but I should have followed him up there. Okay. Perfect. We can end the game here. I have ult back in 36, which is good. I'll use my Shroud here. She actually went for it. That's really stupid. That's a big misplay on her part. She just straight dies for that one. Nice. Alright, let's say I'm just gonna end. I'm way too focused on this game. Yeah. Alright, at least I hope this is a perfect showing of how you play Echo in fights. This specific build was very much necessary this game with the Conqueror setup to be able to pull this out. To be able to play uh, yeah, out this game. If you guys have enjoyed this video, this game, this was a very intense one. Please make sure to hit the like button below. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!